was a good shot. It was disgusting. What the f Hurry, we have a lot of shit to do on this boat. Chipping, cutting. Time for big guns. This is definitely the nastiest job I've ever been doing. Tell me again, why are we doing this? <laughs> you do well living in a cave. <laughs> we have paper towels, plates, <laughs> napkins, and look what my wife does. She still hasn't learned that food doesn't belong on bare tables. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt it. It's not gonna hurt me. Now in four days, William, we have ants, <laughs> ants all over the boat. William, I have no idea what this poem is. What the hell is that? I don't like that. I have. Bad thoughts. Let's see the inside. What is it? What happened here? So dark and seasy. What the fuck? He cut half of the metric. I'm here. William! What did you do to our mattress? <laughs> well, it was disgusting. It was so full of mold underneath it. When I went to work on the rudder, I picked it up and this has got to get out of here. It's growing all kinds of shit from the rain and who knows what else are you gonna make one just like you did the faucet all that energy you can go down there and cut the other piece in half because this was difficult while you were sitting and reading i was cutting mattresses <laughs> i might use it as a scrub we do need a scrub in the shower we can use memory foam. I don't know. No. Oh, no. This is my real love. My walkie. This is the best tool for the boat yard. I just use it all the time. When William does need it. This is what I call real power. Yes! What? Ugh, have to stop. Lillian said there was a food truck. Food first, work after.
finally got down to the belly of the old girl. And I also see why she's wet all the time. First off, after finding the air conditioning box under the bed, and if we look at the uh, drain line from the air conditioning, it goes into the side box. And on the other side, you will notice that it goes into the hull. So guess where all the water was going when we ran the air conditioner. The other issue is if you look way in the back on this side and on the opposite, there are supposed to be two drains coming from there and the lines going to the front. So I plumbed everything correctly, but as you can see, those have completely rusted away. So the water is just draining into the bottom of the hull. Add it to the list of 100 things. I never worked with this saw before, never cut anything in my life. I guess this is a good time to try. First, try and turn it on. <laughs> it's off? No, there's a safety. Push the button on the top and you turn the safety off. Hey, I didn't ask your help mm. anyway. <laughs> it's yeah. Safety is off. No, you can run the saw. Where is Go the ahead. button? Like a gun. Like a good gun. <laughs> so where's the safety button? This? Oh yes. yes. So if it's locked, it's not going to move? Yeah, so look close. Yeah, now you oh, can, I now see. Now you cool. can put it in your pocket. Just cool. make sure that you have it. Got it. It's just like a gun. Yes. Keep the safety on. You're getting a Milwaukee queen here. You've got everything <laughs> imaginable. <laughs> This one. This is a grinder. It's good for cutting. Oh, well, it's got a cutting wheel on it. Mm, this sounds difficult. Hey, you know, I'm doing here something. <laughs> you haven't done anything in 30 minutes but to be talking. <laughs> we would like to get out of the water this year. So, this one also has a safety. You have to push the button forward mm -hmm. and then. Spin, right? It looks like it can cut a hand. But the good thing with this one, I'll just give you a quick lesson, is you go like this. Right? So you can cut very fast without a whole lot of mess. Wow, it's so thick. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'll figure something out. Bye. <laughs> Don't cut anything other than the mattress, please. Hey, good afternoon everybody. I'm starting to feel a little bit like maybe Captain Kirk. Uh, Stardate log, Sunday, May something with this boat. Naturally, working in a boat yard has a ton of challenges. Everything you need is somewhere else. It takes about three hours to get started. And then uh, the good thing about living in South Florida is it's always beautiful and hot. The bad thing, it's hot, hot. So today I started to design and look at ways to integrate the huge pieces of teak I have into the pilot house so A, it looks proper and B, it has correct seal and support for the roof. So in summary, if you look off to my side here, I am running teak along the port and starboard side and then I am running teak across the front and then also we'll have teak in the back which will then be the surrounding frame for fiberglass. So over the next uh, couple of hours I will be looking at ways to integrate that and hopefully keep things from leaking. See you later, bye.
stuck in between your legs. No? No, always the one side. So if something goes wrong, we're not cutting. That was a good shot. <laughs> Bird's eye view, we're up on top of the Dawn Hunter and uh, now looking at ways to clamp in the wood, the arch across the front, and that way I'll be able to design the supports for the windows and supports for the side frame. Same time, these are two inch by two inch, quarter inch thick beams and tubes that I've welded in place. What we will be doing is having two porthole hatches so we can see what's going on with the sail. And that needs to be strategically located still with the solar panels. Or we'll end up with one in the center. Most important, I have to see what's going on with the sail and the rigging while we're underway. This will continue. Uh, hopefully in 30 days we're going to have something enclosed up here. start things and then I have to finish them. I just think that the matter is nasty. I thought it was just fine. I forgot the bird <laughs> Marine zipper. We can use this for something later. Especially when I teach you how to use a sewing machine. I'm not learning that. Well, somebody heard about the grinders. So you want to throw all that stuff overboard? Yes. Thank you. The teak that I'm using actually came from the railings of a boat built for Jack Daniels. It is super thick and extremely strong, as well as heavy. What I'm doing and what I have changed on the design is I am integrating this old boat into our boat. So the pilot house is going to change a little bit in design, but it's worth it for having this type of history back on the water. This is the best part. William is asking me where is my plate, he said to dine. This is his plate. My plate? <laughs> Sometimes you don't need a plate, you can eat out of that. The real reason is that the dishes are too much work. <laughs> We are washing the dishes now. William is a faucet. I'm the washer. <laughs> it's a robotic faucet. <laughs> All these years of 
college. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave this box. I don't need it. I don't want to. <laughs> I think we're gonna retire on the box. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a lion. I had to take some of the hospital because we got something stuck in the phone. Oh, yes? Yes. Yeah, don't think it was something nice. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>